So, what happened? Nothing. All I pulled into the damn way station. Here I am thinking they just they to do a DLT. They searched my truck. They treated me like I was a common criminal. So what? So what? So you said you was empty. So start start at the beginning. Yeah. Like start at the beginning. Like what actually happened when you actually rolled up? That you had to go across the scale while you empty. Or was it one of these scale yeah. houses? Was it one of these scale yeah, houses? I said, you had to go across it. Um, I had to go across while I'm empty. Okay. Yeah, I had to go across while I'm empty. Okay, where where were you? I was in the middle of the street. I was in the middle of the street. I was in the middle of the street. In Michigan. You say Erie, Michigan? Yeah. Okay, so... Erie, Michigan. So what happened? Nothing. They made me go on the scale. And they asked my ID and all that other shit. They I am located on a DOC, a level two or three uh, level, you know, DOC inspection, but they didn't have the whole garage thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so, sometimes they pull you in and they make you do a level two or three DOC DLT inspection because that's all they can do as police officers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We have one of those that don't have a real inspector. I thought he was going to this shit. And I'm thinking, okay, hopefully I'll find you one of the truck. Oh, it wasn't about that. Right? They treated the girl like a common criminal. So I say, ask for my ID, ask them for my BLL, ask for my BLL, ask them for what to call for. I don't know what book that you can see for registration, insurance, and all that shit. So you have three different binders. And so he, he asked me, I've been a jail before. And I said, no, just like the thing is I said, I've never had no real record. Like that. Yeah. So I said, you said, okay. And uh, he said, you ever had any tickets recently? I said, I got one last year, but that's getting dismissed. He said, what was that for? And I told him. I said, okay, what's all this? Then he said, well, pull up on this side and we'll see you our conversation. I pull on this side and fuck, I thought the hell's going on. Next thing I know, the other law, he pulls his ass his squad car and said, I'm not the truck to block me like from leaving. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, the rest of all, you have my, my damn ID. So right? you, are, are you still on the scale? No, I'm big on. So you, so you, so they, they waved you over into the parking lot? Yes. Okay. Now, here I am thinking this going to be a regular DOC. There's nothing of the sort. And I said, okay. And he got another law officer pull up on the process side of my truck and say, I said, what's going on? So I said, no, I got a warrant on me. I hope not. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. So they talk about each other. He comes get stuck from my truck, the other cop, second cop, on the passenger side. So you can just step off and go have a conversation um, with my partner. And he's going to have a conversation to finish the stuff. I said, but why did I go to the car? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? I said, well, did they find some of my license or something? Oh, God. I said, I thought I'd take my license on a regular basis. Y'all, I'm all in on this. I want all the time, once a month, and check and see what's going on. Okay. With myself, right? I said, what's going on? But I get out, I cooperate. They open the door, let me get in the passenger seat of the car, of the police car. And I said, what's going on? Right? I think he could have shown me something that's on the truck long time ago, because I've had that shit happen before when I was in school. But they said I had like a ticket or something against the truck, but it was underneath somebody else's name. Right? I said, that's something against the truck, it's underneath somebody's name. Well, that's what I thought he could really show me. Right? Mm -hmm. He put my driver's license right there, and he said, Well, do you have any alcohol uh, or any kind of drugs? Or anything like a gun, like an eye, like in the car. So I have a pepper spray. So I do have a knife, but I mean, I'm a lady. I'm a soul, I'm a soul truck driver lady. All ladies have that on their truck, right? He said, okay. He said, uh, how big is the knife? I said, it's a nice little size. I don't know how long it is. I don't measure it. Like, if I just have a pepper, like I said, I don't have no real gun. I know it's FCCSA. That's regulation. You know what I'm saying? I know they'll pay my license like that, right? He said, okay, well. We're going to search your vehicle. And I say, search my vehicle? Why? He said, because you give me proper call to search your vehicle. I said, but I don't want my vehicle searched. I said, I just told you what I had. You have my license. I'm straight on my license. You have my registration. 
Why do you get the check? That's not true. I'm not comfortable with that. Okay, so stop for a minute. Stop. So they they ask you to they ask you to search, and you didn't you you didn't uh what what would you say uh what's that what's that word you you didn't commit you didn't commit to the search, and they searched the truck Thank anyway. You. Yes. And and the reason why they searched the truck was because they said it was probable cause. What was they probable cause? I have no fucking idea. He said because of the shit in my dad, I had paperwork in my dad, and the fact that I did tell him I had pepper spray in a knife. He, he said that's the proper cause that I gave him. I said, but well, I'm just telling you because all female truckers have to put on their trucks and send themselves with. Nobody's out here on this truck bare naked. Okay, so let me get. Come on, meet cross the line and, and keep and keep guns on their truck any motherfucking way, even okay. though they have to see a face. They know. Okay, let me let me get this straight because I'm still trying to I'm still trying to wrap my head around the probable cause. Did did they smell anything? Exactly. Like, did, they, exactly. did they smell exactly. anything? Exactly. No, they didn't say nothing like that. I don't think he's gonna smell any of his candles and incense. That's all thing that get burnt so in they, here. I don't even smoke. So, <laughs> so they didn't smell anything. They didn't smell anything, and the only weapon that you had was, 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 was your personal knife and pepper spray. That's no, that, yes. that's that's no reason for probable cause. Yeah, but the motherfucker did. But what was the reason? Was why, but what what they say was the reason why they pulled you over to uh to, for the inspection? Did they did they say okay we're gonna do a level one, level two, level three? What was the reason why they pulled you over in the first place? He said because I had my papers in the dash. I had too many papers in my, my dad that it, it messed with the windshield wiper view. Okay, then, yeah. I that, say, okay. That, that, I say, okay, that, but this is my thing. That is, that is kind of valid. He is kind of valid on that end, but that's not good enough to touch my whole fucking truck. Do you understand what I'm saying? What? He just took my driver's license, got my registration for the truck. Ran my stuff in the system, checked me if I'm good, checked the insurance of the company, and, and wrote me a ticket for the stuff in the dash and let me go. What was the fault of the call for searching my damn truck? Okay, that. The, okay, see, the, that, the background noise is killing me right now. Um, yo, is your headset charged up? <laughs> Okay, I guess the I guess the Bluetooth is not gonna is not gonna work for us then. Alright, alright, just kill the Bluetooth and, and just put me on speaker and we'll just we'll just roll from there. I'm just gonna have to just gonna have to Okay. Yeah. But so what I'm saying is what was the final because? See, that's what I'm trying to figure out. The, the I, I I can't see where the probable cause is at. They didn't smell anything, and it wasn't like they seen like a gun in plain view. Where where was the knife? Oh, I didn't leave my seat. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> where was the knife? I didn't leave my seat. Okay, so. He didn't see the. You told him about the knife. Where was the pepper spray? Way in uh, one of my sleeping bags at the bottom of my knee. Okay, so they didn't see a knife. They didn't see the the pepper spray. Where's the probable cause at? You just told him that you had the stuff. That's, in there. Yes, that's what I said. And like I told him, I said that was necessary. I'm a female trucker. All female truckers have pepper spray and tasers and knives on that truck. That's when he came with the bullshit when I pushed the second bomb and said, in the state of Michigan, the knife can't be no more than three inches long, otherwise it's considered a deadly weapon for commercial drivers. And I said, so how am I supposed to know that? My driver license, that you can see, say that. Okay. Well, all, of, all majority of CDL drivers know we just can't have no gun on here with us. Wait, That's a no no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. This man came back and told you in the state of Michigan, your knife can't be as long as such and such? 
three inches. This man says your knife can't be as long as three inches. Yeah. Don't you know some truck drivers have like machetes on their shit? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. I, I know a few that got guns on there. Okay, so. I don't give a damn about the last time. So. <sighs> He he searched the truck while you was in it, or he searched the truck while you was. He took you out of the truck. Let me tell you how that went. Let me tell you how that went. Now who's in the car? He told me he gonna search the truck anyway. He thought I asked him that I told him I don't please I want my stuff first, but I really don't want my first one to go my stuff like that. And you see my driver's license, right? You see a truck is registered. You understand know what I'm saying? And I said, okay, you want to do that? Can I at least grab my phone and call my company? And my company know what's going on. Now, mind you, my phone was on IG recording, because I always go live and I record over that police. That's why. I always go live. So you that's can. When I, can't, I always go live. That's when I can't. Let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. Okay. I always go live on YouTube. I always go live on IG whenever I record over that police, because you can't trust these live with You really can't. It's sad. It's so sad, but you can't. Right? Okay. So that's why I went live. But let me tell you, so I was refused to come back and get my car. I said, well, wait a minute. I'm not going to do anything. I said, you can, add, you can have your car down on the side of my window. Because my phone was right in my seat. My phone was right there in my passenger seat. So I said, I can go get my phone and call my company while y'all search my stuff anyway. Y'all can't go get my phone. Right? I said, you can have your other car. I'll stand out there watch me. So I don't move nothing and take nothing around. Right? <laughs> he said no. Walk me to the building. I wasn't even able to stand there and watch them go through my truck within two or three feet. They put me way 20 feet over inside of the building. That's why I had to be at. Inside behind closed doors while they searched my truck. I didn't like that. Right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, you already searched my shit without my permission. You're going to make me come way over here while you search my shit. I know what the fuck you putting in my truck. And I'll say what's mine. Right? Mm-hmm. I didn't like that. And I was denying my phone. Now, my phone was still live on our seat, posted up in the seat on our seat. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, when they got, and I'm going to tell you this, the whole time I'm watching inside with the glass door, so they were started getting on and off my truck. Mm-hmm. Oh, they were desperate. They were trying to do the best they fucking can to find something on me. You understand what I'm saying? I, so your best they fucking can to find something on your girl. Because I feel like the first every time you drop over here, you go through all my shit. You run through my shit. You lift my motherfucking mattress up. You all in the back of my... You just motherfucker. Look at what you're like. You understand what I'm saying? So they drop on this truck for a time. Going through my stuff. Trying to do the best they can to fucking find something on me, son. Well, that's what, that's... That's when the shit was happening. That's when I, that's when I feel like this thing's racist. You think about my random motherfucking son? And I'm going to tell you even more than this. You know how when they do DOT and sex, they make you look up the hood. They say you put your life on. They say you just blow your horn. It was none of the regular DOT shit that happened. So they, I don't even think they even opened up my trailer doors in the back to take a see if I'm empty. I don't even think they did that. So my my here's my thing. You what? So the the lights was on. So that says you you up in Michigan. So do you have a do you have a pre pass on your truck or anything like that? No. Okay, then that. And I, I don't think Michigan have pre passes up there, if I'm not mistaken. But I guess the I guess being that the lights is on, regardless if you're empty or full, you still have to you still have to go through the scale house. But usually when you ride through the scale house, you know, you roll over the thing and it it'll be a light that tells you to either go to the left or go to the right of the scale. And being that you're empty, you should have just you should have had a clear pass, being that you was empty. So they got so you roll on the scale. They stopped you on the scale. They came out, came to talk to you, and then wave you over to the side, pretty much. Pretty much. 
And the reason and the reason why they said the reason why they did that was because you had too much shit in in, in the dash in the dashboard. Yeah. Well, I, I'm I am so sorry that 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 happened to you, man. But use this as use. I mean, I can I can go. But what I'm telling you is why I feel racially profiled is because they didn't do none of the DLP stuff. Like, you know how they lift the hood up and check underneath your hood? You know how they say you turn your lights on and press on your brakes and that kind of stuff? None of that took place. Well, I'm... That's why I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to buy it online and let y'all know about it if you want. She was, was racism. You know what I'm saying? Little racism on the shit. Don't tell me if I was a white man or a white woman, I would have went to the I have to have a stand in my power. Every truck driver I have to have on my truck to protect themselves with. What difference does it make if the knife is six inches long or three fucking inches long? I don't give a damn if it is a lot. That ain't nothing to fuck with me about. So what? So. Like, you see, I'm on this motherfucker myself and my driver's license, they texted, you know, good goddamn well, motherfucker. I don't know nothing about this fuck all law. So what was so what was the end result? What, what was the end result? What did, I got a ticket for too much stuff in the dash. And that's it. Yeah, they, 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 didn't even, they didn't even hit you nothing for. They didn't even hit you nothing for the. Uh, they didn't hit you nothing for the knife. Did they take the knife? No, he gave me a knife back and told me I have to stay in the cubby hole the rest of the time while I'm in Michigan. Oh my God! They they ain't give you they ain't give you nothing for the knife. What about what about the pepper spray? Did they give you anything for the pepper spray? No, no. They ain't give you nothing for the knife, nothing for the pepper spray, and gave you a ticket for too much shit in the dashboard. Thanks. Well, first, first thing first, I'm I'm gonna say that I am sorry that this happened. Thank you. That, that, this is that this happened to me. Now, what I'm about to say next, I don't want you to take the wrong way. All right. I'm listening. All right. Now, a lot of truck drivers, including myself, do t- have a tendency of leaving shit in the dashboard. I, I mean, like all, like on my driver's side, I usually keep my my paperwork. I usually keep my hat, like a couple of hats up there, my paperwork, maybe some knickknacks. But when I go through the scale, I I tend to take that shit down. All right, because you never you you never know what's gonna happen when you go through through these scale houses. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, hopefully, you will take this as a learning tool. Now, I never, now me personally, I, I have been racially profiled, so I do know how that feel. You know what I'm saying? I do know how that feel, but I, 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 can't, I can't question whether they racially profiled you or not. Because number one, I was not there. All right, that's number one. Only, only you can feel how they came after you. Now, maybe some guys will turn around and say, "Hey, they just doing their job." You know what I'm saying? They, they saw the, you know, they, they probably didn't, they probably didn't make their quota for the day, and then they just up and saw you with all your stuff in the dashboard, and they decided to target you. Now, was that racially profiled? I don't know. All right. Would they would have did that to a white woman? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just saying, just use this as a learning tool so that next time that you, you know, if you got stuff in the dashboard, you know that maybe, just maybe they'll fuck with you with just stuff in the dashboard. You might want to just keep it, keep it out out of the dashboard. I got you. I mean, I feel that part of it. This is what I'm saying. I got you on that part of it. That I, I mean, I'm human. I'm an adult. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. 
But my thing, my thing of it is, is that what was the purpose needing to search me for? He could just wrote me a ticket for that from the jump and let me go. Well, do you understand what I'm saying? There's no, there's. There's no rhyme or reason why these motherfucking DOT officers do what the fuck they do anyway. You know what I'm saying? I got I got pulled over by by Ohio State. I get pulled over by Ohio State troopers all the time. Well, not all the time. Well, let me see. I got pulled over. I got I got pulled over once, and then the other one I was actually coming through a scale house. But like when I drove for like other companies. I was I was pulled over in Illinois for the for the headlight. You know, the dude did a dude did a level one inspection because my headlight was out. He didn't give me a ticket. He just told, you know, we was I told him I was on my way to the TA, which was right down the street anyway. So he let me go there. But um but ain't ain't no telling what 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 they do, man. Would you would you, what you want to do as a driver is not give them any ammunition. You know, that's why I keep my, like my GPS. That's why I keep it off the window. I keep it like on the dashboard because I know I might, I might go through one of these motherfucking scale houses and they'll turn around and be like, Oh, okay. Well, we're going to fuck with you because your GPS is in the, is in the windshield wiper way. Okay. No problem. All right, so we can eliminate that by putting the GPS on the dashboard. All right, okay. Shit in we we know that we're gonna get fucked with if they see too much clutter in the in the windshield. I mean, I I walk the truck stops all the time, and these motherfuckers out here got garbage, like garbage, not paperwork. I'm talking garbage, like cups. Like like trash in their in their on their dashboard, and I seen them go through the motherfucking scale houses like yo I'm cool, bam bam boom, wave it on. But like I said, you, it's just unfortunate that you just went through that one, and then they just for some godforsaken reason wanted to fuck with you. You see what I'm saying? You know, so was it was it racial profile? Maybe, but I like I said, I I you know I I know what racial profiling is because it it was done to me plenty of times in my youth and in my in in my adulthood. So I know how it feels and I know where it comes from. But was it was it done to you? Like I said, I don't know. I was not there, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna perceive it. If you felt that way, then you felt that way. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, like I said, if they would have did it to, if would they would have did it to the white woman? You know what I'm saying? Maybe they probably would have waved her on, or maybe they would have did the exact same thing that they did to you. My thing. My thing of the point is the probable cause for him to search, like literally get in your truck and search your truck. I mean, you said, you said it wasn't, it wasn't no older or nothing like that. The only thing that you said that you probably said was I got a knife in my truck, but even, even that though, I mean, you could have just showed him the knife, right? And that, and that right there in itself, if you show him the knife, like, look, this is what I got to protect me. You know, there's a, there's a lot of, there's, you know, I, I, I park in a lot of shady places and there's a lot of rhetoric that's going on in the trucking industry right now. So how can you like, like re really, like really dude? I mean, I, I'm flabbergasted, man. I, I, I am flabbergasted right now. Yeah, well, thanks for, I, I appreciate the love and reach out. I mean, I know I had a few assholes that were saying, well, just pay the fine and just do this, just do that. But so a know, lot of those people probably either don't drive no more or haven't drove in a long time. Well, you know, like I said, or I, I, somebody I, like I said, I, I, I was, I was in your life. 
And the one dude, you know, maybe I don't, you know, you know how some some people want to be assholes and all like that. And I really think he was just being an asshole. But as I said in your life, yo, have you have you been racially profiled? I mean, because if you haven't been racially profiled, then you can't speak on it. You know, until you get racially profiled, then you could probably speak on it. I could speak on it because it happened to me. But if you wasn't, then how would you how would you know how she feel? You can't you can't sit there behind a computer, behind a truck or whatever you're doing. You can't sit there and say, OK, well, you know, stop, stop using racism and all like that. There's right. There's still racism in trucking. Don't don't get it twisted. Do not get it twisted. Yeah. Do yeah. not get it twisted. There is yeah. racism in trucking. Don't don't get it twisted. Yeah, yeah. So I him, bet that's all that he was in my truck anyway. Him, and then he says my knife is four inches. He said my knife is four inches. So uh, it's illegal for me to have it. But my mommy being long long as you start to smoke for a long ride, long, long you didn't see that I was registered to carry the gun because when when you in the state of Texas and you get a gun and you have a gun license. It shows up with your driver license, oh, especially you can, when you're yeah, commercial. You can, when you're a commercial you can, yeah. you can get you can get a um you can you can get a um you can get your uh carry your CCW. You just gotta you just gotta know which states that recognize it. And I think no 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 that wasn't Michigan that I went through. That was Baltimore that I went to. Baltimore was what is one of the states that don't recognize uh that didn't recognize my ccw now when i got pulled over by the trooper when i got pulled over by the trooper in there i was in my regular truck and the guy you know he ran my license and my license red flagged the uh the that i was you know that i had a gun in my car so he came up to my car and he was like yo do you, do you have any weapons or anything in your car i was like yeah i got my gun and I was like, he was like, oh, okay, okay. He said, where is it? I said, it's right here in my lap. All right. He says, uh, I, I, I even asked him. I had both hands on the wheel. I asked him. I was like, you want me to? I said, you want me to get it? He was like, no. He said, you mind if I get it? I said, yeah, go ahead. So he reached in. He reached in. He got it. He took it back to his, you know, took it back to his car. Then he came back over to me. He got me out of my car. He didn't search. He didn't search my car. Or nothing like that. We was, you know, another a couple of other police cars pulled up. You know what I'm saying? But, and by the way, this was a black a black officer, by the way. But the other police cars, the other police that pulled up, they was white. But it was the black officer that was that was dealing with me at the time. So the only thing he told, I, you know, I gave him my credentials and all like that. And, you know, he came back. He just gave me a... What do you call it? He gave me a uh, he gave me a warning. He didn't even give me no ticket because the only reason he said he was just doing a wellness check on me because I was, you know, he saw me swerving and all like that. And I was like, oh, OK, no problem. I'm good with that. You know, swerving. All right. So um, he took my gun apart. You know, he took out, you know, he took my gun apart and he told me that the gun has to be separated from the ammunition. So I had to put my ammunition in the bed in the bed of my truck and then my gun was in the glove compartment. <laughs> that shit crazy. He told me I had to drive like that throughout the state of Baltimore <laughs> until until I leave Baltimore. Until I leave Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. He told me, he told me I had to leave out of that and then I can put my gun back together. I was like, brother, man, as soon as he, as soon as he left, I put my gun back together. So, but Hey, I'm, I went to, you know, I'm right now I'm here in the flying J and I, and I don't have no good fucking internet, but, um, trucking review channel. 
I did an interview with him, by the way. The Truck and Review Channel says that uh, you can have a gun, and uh, he wants you to email him so he can tell you the laws. So you actually can have you you actually can have a gun. You know, it's just that some of the states don't recognize your CCW. But even but even if you get even if you have a gun, you just have to you just have to you know separate the the, the ammunition from the weapon itself. So let's see. Yeah, um, but it, it it was just another thing too. I want to drop this on you, and then I'll let you go. I left my phone sitting up in my seat because I had it live on IG. Because you never know, right? right? When I got back on my truck, my phone was turned down and stuck up and pushed underneath something. Yeah, they yeah because they and didn't I want tell, it, they didn't... I can tell. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, because I, I, I could tell it was pushed. It was pushed underneath. It had like two or three different things on top of it. Well, they didn't. They, they didn't want. They, they, they didn't want to be recorded. They they knew that they knew that they was being recorded. That's why they push. You, that's why you. That's why they pushed it up under the seat. Every this this is for everybody. This is for all truckers. This is for everybody that can hear my voice. This is for everybody. Whenever you get pulled over, whether it's by DOT, whether it's by DOT or regular officer. You turn that recorder on. Fuck that shit. You you turn that recorder on. Oh yeah. I I do. I do all the time. I do all the time. Look at they find it. Like, it was just a fact that I was denied my phone. It was just a fact you searched my truck for stuff on my window shield. It was coming back to the bullshit by being one inch past legal. And it can be an illegal thing about that, but being a trucker and you see my license not for safety, you see I'm on here by myself, that ain't nothing that they even fuck with me for. Why waste your time, wasting police officers' time, and waste police officers' money? It's fucking with me like that. Over one fucking inch of a knife. What? It don't make no difference if it's a two inch, one inch, poker knife. It don't matter. I can still kill you with whatever what size it is. <laughs> so you still kill so me. So I just got to to mess with me about it. You know what I'm saying? I, hear you. I think it's bull. <laughs> I still think it's bull at the end of the day. And I get it, you know, I could be a little more tight when it comes to the window and stuff like that, but I just felt like the fact they can stay with continuously jumping on and off this truck trying to you can see, that's why I wish I had my phone so I could fucking record it. I was how they jump on and off it. That's why I was sitting there and I started crying and I started cussing and kind of talking to myself, you know what I'm saying? Because I was like, are you fucking serious? You just jump off the motherfucking once I went out through there. Because I can kind of tell that they had weight by the truck rocking and they were listening to my mattress and shit in the day. You understand what I'm saying? My truck is small. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't no way you, ain't no way you not gonna rock this truck when you mess this mattress. Well, I pulled up, uh, I'm, 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 on, I'm back on your YouTube right quick. Uh, trucking, what's this? Trucking for dollars. He says three inches on, he said three inches on up Knife blade is illegal most everywhere, and anything mounted higher than the top of the dashboard is also illegal. Sorry this happened to you. Once you admit to the knife, it was game over. They going to tear the truck apart. Same thing happened to me, and I'm a white guy. The cop was a dick about it. The, the, he said the cop was a dick about it to you under the circumstances, probably not profiling. You say keep your head up. Uh, appreciate it. I look at it later. Yeah, I, I, to be honest with you, I, I, as far as a knife go, I, I, I I'm gonna have to get with uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go and start doing some research on that because I wasn't even help to you know certain inches a knife could be because. Like I said, I yeah, see, I see I, some truck drivers. We don't drivers. fucking know that. That is not a part of your DOT regulation when you get your damn front CDL. Yeah, but so I just feel like, but here's the thing: of it is, all truckers have something on their truck. What? One of them is to be sitting up the line. This is how I feel like. Whether I told him about the knife and something for or not, they were gonna search my fucking truck. They had already made that mind up when he pulled me in, seeing I was a black lady when he stepped on his side. 
truck. But you know, you, you know. So that's why I told them about the night for night. They were gonna search this truck. But see, that's what I'm. That's that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like I said, I I don't I don't know what was in their minds, and like you said, you know, once they got, you know, they stepped up on your truck, and they turned around and. You know, seeing that, like you said, you was a black woman, I, you know, you can't guess what's, you know, that their minds was that they was going to search your truck. But it's like what this guy said. Once you told him that you you had the knife on the truck, that you had the knife on the truck, then yeah, that I I don't know probable cause. I mean, I mean, if the guy asked you. I mean, if if the knife was like in plain view or something like that, if the light if if the knife was like in plain view, then that could have been probable cause. You could have had the knife in the uh, passenger seat. You could have had the knife on the floor. So when he got up on the when he got up on the door and looked in and seen the knife, that would have given probable cause right there. But you said the knife was up under the seat, so he didn't see it. But when you told him that you had a knife. Then that pretty much, you know that that pretty much m- right there in his head. Yeah, I want to search the truck. Now, was he? Go- but he already. You don't think so? I mean, I get you on that day, and I respect you for that. That's right. You right on that. You so so right. I wasn't thinking that. But I really think I don't think it really does matter, Papa. I don't right. think you, if I was told yes, I don't think it was told him no. Or if I was told him no, it was. They was just going to search the shit anyway. Right. It was the heat of the moment that you. If I would have said no, and if I would have said no, and he found a fucking knife, he would put me in jail because then I asked for him to be in jail. So what you know? It's a kiss twenty two to it. I feel you, but when he pulled me in the cell, he first asked for my ID. He made his mind. He's gonna search my shit. Period. Now, that's my mind. Like I said, that was a little. That that was a little much. Uh, you know, searching your shit like, like, dude, you. I mean, <laughs> what, what I'm what I'm carrying is explosives or something like that. I'm. I'm I'm a little I'm I'm a little old black lady right here, you know, just just trucking up and down these these highways, protecting myself. And you gonna you wanna search my truck for for a knife that I'm protecting myself with? Now that now I can go as far as to say that, but like I said, you know, like like this like trucking for dollars said. <laughs> <clears throat> Once you told him about the knife, then that, that then I guess I guess that gave him quote unquote probable cause. I don't see it. Oh, I, no. I don't I don't see it. <laughs> I, I don't see it. You know me personally. I mean, look, bro. Here's here's my personal protection. Right, he could have just he could have just told you like, oh, okay, well, no problem. Stay safe. Yada yada yada. We'll just give you a level one. Yada yada yada. Boom. And to be honest with you, he probably didn't even have to give you the ticket for the for the for the stuff in the dashboard. I mean dashboard. He got he probably could have just told you. He could have just told you like, yo, just you know, just keep it clean. Just keep it clean a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even have to do that. But for some odd reason, they was just being dicks today. It was, it was, it was be a, it was DOT dick day. <laughs> maybe they didn't, maybe, maybe they didn't get the pussy last night. Maybe, maybe, maybe something. Maybe they woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Maybe, maybe that fe- that fine ass female trucker that came in before you, you know, didn't didn't give them no love or nothing like that, and they decided to, they they decided to fuck with somebody, and and you just happened to pull the short straw. So, but yeah, man, like, like I said, I, I, I am so sorry that this happened to you, but just take this from now on, just take this as a learning tool. You know what I'm saying? Every, everything is a learning experience. You know, uh, what I would do, what I would say is, you know, see if you can get a hold of, um, uh, one of these, uh, trucking lawyers or something like that. Uh, see if he can get one, get a hold of one of these trucking lawyers or something like that to see if they can uh, 
clear, you know, clean up that. And let me tea. guess you what, this, 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 this the cream and the cake right here, this the icing on top of the cake. Now, you know how I told you I gave him my dry license and my BLLs, I gave him a book for my registration? He did not give me my BLLs back, and I didn't realize it. So I got like 40 miles down the road, and I thought I was going to go back and they don't get my BLL. And the place is closed, the way they should close now. Nigga didn't get my BLL back, so I'm not going to make you get paid for my load. Wait, you you can get paid for one of your loads. You can just have, just call up the company. Speaking of speaking of which, did you? What did your company say? What 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 did your company say when you when you told them about? Uh, my safety lady noticed it. She touched on my sister, which is way too big to go for. And she could get dismissed by putting it on you. And I said thank you, but she said I think she needs to call the complaint. So you got to follow. I think you need to follow. So you got to follow a complaint with the company or follow a complaint with no police or mission. So, in other words, they told you that you, you pretty much got to pay for that ticket, pretty much. Um, I'm going to try to do the best I can because you now I got two tickets. I got one that's coming up in May. But the one in May, I'm going to get that dismissed. So, that was bullshit. 66 miles an hour and 70 miles, 70 hour, 70 mile an hour speed limit. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It even took them over eight months to give me a court date. And I'm uh, missing tickets. God damn it! And then I got this. See now you, so oh. now you got up. Now you got, now you got to take time out for that. Now you got to take time out for this right here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can get the shit dismissed because I think it's bull. I agree. I think I think both. I think bull. Cause my and my safety ticket is bull too. She say, so why did they let you have your phone? So that's weird to me. Sometimes you just gotta, like I said, you, you gotta take everything that you that, that happened to you as a learning thing. You know what I'm saying? Take this, oh, yeah. take this as a learning oh, experience, yeah. and 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 try your best not to let it happen. Just like when, just like when I went and sat in front of my safety director, and he told you know he told me I wouldn't get my get my uh get my bonus because of the because I ran I I broke that gate arm you know i could have i i could have just not give him the paperwork or, or not give him the report i could have just put that up in my pocket but would would if would if would if that gate arm breaks again somebody else breaks that gate arm and gojo decides to go through the through through you know through the report 6 months later They'll send a report to to my 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 uh my safety director, and then all of a sudden, six months down the line, he gets that in the mail. Now I'm sitting now I'm sitting in front of him, pissed. Him him being a little pissed at me because I should have gave him the paperwork or should have told him about it six months ago. Just because I tried to get my tried to get my thousand uh, dollars uh safety bonus. Really? 
Yeah, that, yeah, I, yeah. I just lost out about what? About four? Let me see. About a thousand to twelve hundred dollars, man. I left. I left all that on the table because of, because the motherfucking guard did not raise the gate. I was I was you know I was like close up on the on the gate, so I didn't see the arm. I thought I thought it was already up because I didn't see it. So when he waved me through, he was like, "Yo, you know you're good to go." I was like, "Oh, okay." Put the motherfucking truck in gear. And then start to move. All of a sudden, I hear snap. I'm like, "What the fuck?" So instead of continue moving through the go, I mean through the gate, I said, "Yo, brother, man." I was like, "You know, the, I said you didn't, you know, raise the thing." So he moved it out the way. I came back up. They written out a report about it, and I was like, "Well, let me get a copy of that report because they wasn't going to give me a copy of the report." I was like, well, give me a copy of the report so I can so I can send it in to my uh to my uh safety director. They didn't want to give me a copy of the report. I was like, well, dude, you got my name and driver's license on this fucking report. So I need a copy of that report, bruh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I you're not going to have my government stuff on here without me having a copy of it. You got to give me a copy of it. So I went and, you know, I put it in my paperwork. I got the call. Maybe I, I was fried. Actually, I was Fridayed. Uh, my manager, my, my uh, driver manager called me on my day off, which was Friday. And he was like, yo, what happened at Gojo? And I was like, nothing happened at Gojo. I said, I, I ran through the, I ran through the, uh, the 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 gate arm. He was like, "Is there any damage to the truck?" I was like, "No." Nah. So he gave you know he gave me to my safety director, and my safety director you know was like, "So the only thing that I'm upset with," uh, he said, "The only thing I'm upset with you about lockout is the fact that you didn't call me at the time of the incident." And that's when I told him I was like, "Well, I didn't think it was a big you know was a big deal because it was you know it was a piece of wood." And I, you know, I sent in the the paperwork. So I had to go and do a face to I had to go and do a face to face with him on Tuesday. Came back to my mailbox about three days later to to get the write up. So I was like, I, I was I was lightweight heated when I when I got the write up because I never been written up before. Well, nah, I I never been well, yeah. U.S. Express, I was written up, but other than that, I've it's been like four years since I was written up for anything. But yeah, the the only other thing that kind of like pissed me off was the fact that I left my safety bonus on the on the table. So, so I won't be getting so this what? Let me see, January, February, March. So I won't get my bonus in April. So April, so May, June, July. So July would be the next time that I would get my bonus. So, and it's kind of crazy that I got to go that long for my bonus. So, but it's all good though. I get my, I get my last, uh, I get my last sign on bonus in, in May. So that, that pretty much makes it up a little bit. So, but yeah, like I said, take all of this, take all of this. And and take it for what it is as a learning process. And hopefully, hopefully you won't have to run into the same situation no more. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hello? You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> how much uh, how much longer you got to go, Shay? Because I'm about to go ahead and put this together. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my God! All right, okay, I'll talk to you All right later. 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 Hey now. All right. All right. So, 
Shape world, everybody. Oh, damn, wrong butt. <laughs> Shape world, everybody. Yo, that's that's pretty messed up what happened to her. I mean, you know, and it was, it, and this messed up that it was one guy in her comment session that was just, just talking all sorts of garbage. So, like I said, if if you haven't been profiled before, if you haven't been profiled before, then you don't know, you you can't speak on being profiled. I'm just saying, if you haven't been profiled, I'm going to say it again, you can't speak on it. Only speak on it if it happens to you. Whether you're right, black, orange, yellow, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So you, you don't know what was going on through this young lady's mind at the time of the situation. So if she felt that way, then that's how she felt. She felt that way. Other than that, you don't know how she felt. So if you guys like content like this and more, yo, hit me up on the Gmail. That's Lockout Men. Well, no, what I'm saying, hit me up for. I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit too, too ahead, y'all. I'm getting too ahead on this. All right, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more content like this. If you guys want to get at me, definitely hit me up in the Gmail. That's LockoutManPodcast at gmail.com. You can also hit me up in the DM on Instagram. You can also hit me up in the Facebook page, Lockout Man Podcast. If you want to come on and share your experience like my girl Shape did, yo, hit me up. You know, that's what my platform is all about. All right. My name is Lockout Man. Yes, sir. I am your humble host. Yes, sir. And we about to get on the body here. Yes, sir. You guys have a beautiful, blessed day. And I'll come back at you with another, another podcast video. Peace.